What are some purse essentials when going to a guy's house for the night? When I was a bachelor I always had an extra contact case and solution. Buy 100 cases and just keep a few travel size contact solutions. Women are generally impressed when you are prepared for situations. Never let that be an excuse for why she can't sleep over. Also, I would buy like 100 toothbrushes and then say well I have an extra toothbrush for guests but I never have guests stay the night. Again you're prepared and she will think you don't have regular women come over. I once stayed at a guy's house and also forgot my solution, turns out he had some lying around so I used it, cut to my eyes burning like crazy trying to see what he gave me that was hurting so bad, I think it was expired, moral of the story also check the expiration date when handing rarely used products to overnight guests who can't see very well. This was literally me last night, forgot my glasses. Had had too many drinks to drive home and 1000% wouldn't be able to drive without the lenses in if I took them out to sleep. I felt super skeeved out falling asleep with them in but I literally didn't have a choice. I couldn't even just Uber home and pick my car up in the morning because I had to drive to work today and didn't have time to fuck around with that. My friend did similar. The contact dissolved onto his retina. He then didn't realize and thought he'd taken it out. He put another contact lens on top of that, got infected and has lost full vision in his eye. I got laser eye, because the amount of time it's effective was overall cheaper than paying for contacts for the same length of time and obviously there is no management required. I keep a box of most of this stuff in my bathroom for overnight guests, as a gay. Keep some tampons and pads, never know when a friend will be in need. Also. If you have a nightstand, keep some baby wipes and tissues there. If she heads off the bathroom to clean up, tell her about the stash and have a nice glass of water prepared. Usually, I will also offer a t-shirt of mine to wear. Smile if I am fortunate enough to have an overnight guest. I want her to know she is appreciated and taken care of without having to ask. So, when I was in my bachelor 20s and living by myself, a female friend commented on how cool and progressive I was because I kept a box of tampons under my bathroom sink in case any female guests needed them. I was like I have tampons, apparently they had been left there a few years before by a woman I dated for a while and I had never noticed. So the reason this tends to happen even though we shed at the same rate as men is that men's hair tends to be much shorter and goes down the drain without issue. Meanwhile our hair can get caught in the drain or cause clogs or whatnot, and a lot of women, knowing this, stick their hair to the shower wall to remove upon leaving the shower so it doesn't go down the drain and become gross. Impossible to remove. Sorry you got stuck with people who don't remember but at least they tried to save your plumbing. I'm a dude and I've been letting my hair grow longer than it's ever been. I've been noticing it collecting on my shower drain cover since it was around 3 inches long. It's around 6 inches now and I pull some off my brush and comb each time I use them. It's only a matter of time before my hair ends up sticking to my fingers when I wash and they'll be slapping it on my wall. Like my girlfriend does, for real. Though, drain covers are the best. I haven't had to buy Drano since I got one. If your drain has a recess, you can get something like the shower shroom that collects the hair and still allows water to drain. If you have a flat drain you can get a cover that's bubble shapes which will do the same thing as the shroom. More for the guys reading, I always keep a couple of new toothbrushes at my house for company. If I'm seeing said company on a regular basis I try and find out what tampons. Pads she uses and keep a box here. Both styles of phone cords and a trash can in the bathroom with the lid. Edit and condoms and a box of promiscuous accessories for the wild ones. <coughs> OMG, a guy with a trash can in his bathroom. In my 37 years of life, I have never met a man with a trash can in his bathroom. It is always so awkward and embarrassing if you are on your period and need to use the bathroom. It was embarrassing to come out of the bathroom with that thing in my hand, looking for a trash can. One guy even grabbed it out of my hands and threw it in his trash can in the kitchen. This ought to give you a good start. Personal armor, but on.
and right helmet. Chemi irritants, such as pepper spray and tear gas, rifle that fires rubber bullets, stun grenades, flex cuffs. If the night gets more serious, bolt cutters, breaching charges, fixed blade knife, night vision goggles, body armor and plates, modified. Customized rifles customized to the task may be difficult to know if it's the first date what's appropriate. 45 caliber handgun, M79 grenade launcher with ammo flak hat, illumination, fragmentation, smoke, buckshot small point and shoot camera. If it goes sideways hemorrhage kit compressed gauze X4 combat gauze X3, would prefer Selux rapid, elastic wraps, ace wraps, X2 pressure dressing X1. Preferably the OLAS 6, airway and respiratory, quick kit X1 NPAX24 X4 Gauze X3 Chest Seal X4 Pax Hydrogel X1 Decompression Needle X3, 14 grams X3.25, Chest Tube Kit X1 Suction Bag Value Mask, BVM, Circulatory, Sodium Chloride 0.9%. NS 500 milliliters 6% had a starch 500 milliliters for administration kit text 2 IO gun and 3 needles basic blood transfusion kit sharp shuttle Hypothermia, Hellos Hypothermia kit text 2 fleece beanie, diagnostic, blood pressure cuff pulse ox thermometer stethoscope notebook W, marker 4x4 gauze for going PT to PT, wound care and closure skin stapler alcohol Provide unidine swabs 2x2 gauze 4x4 gauze dermabond 0.0 silk x2 stery strips assorted band-aids dental repair kit splinting, elastic wrapped 6 inches x1 sam splint finger splint x2 miscellaneous, sun seen eye cover bio freeze batteries, AA, AAA, 123, duct tape trauma shears hand sanitizer anaphylaxis kit, epipen x2 benadryl 50 mg Vital X2 Medications, Ibuprofen Mobic Trimadol Prednisone Cipro-Oethromycin Cyclobonzeprine Cough Drops Pepto-Bismuthalupramide, Imdium, Mucinix on Dancitron, Zofran, Benadryl Antacids Caffeine Meclizant Tylenol Cold and Allergy Hydrocortisone, Topical, Cephazol and Diazepam Morphine X2 Invents, Retapenem, Marcane Permethazine X2 Diffin Hydramin Keto Erolac X2 Nalex Narcan Ketamine Lidocaine Medizolam This will be a pretty good start you may need to modify as needed depending on location and length of stay P.S. 2 liters of water remember stay hydrated kids I bring too much it's kind of embarrassing I bring a whole gym bag with me Toilet wet wipes UHH Poopa or ehaha which in case if some of you guys don't know, you spray it in your toilet before taking a dump, makes it smell better, phone charger, wallet, extra clothes, makeup for touch-ups, tweezers, my keys because I have a car and I also have keys disguised as knives, carry portable mirror, lotion, body perfume mist, my own body wash, hairbrush, hair detangler, deodorant, a lighter, gum. There is so much I can't even think of any at the top of my head anymore. Depends on the relationship. One night stand, condoms, cash, a taser and a friend on standby who knows your location. Friends with benefits, condoms, beer, toothbrush, booty call, condoms and a ride home. Boyfriend from long term relationship where you've both tested negative for STDs and can utilize non-condom contraceptives. Nothing. At this point I've asked for a drawer of my own and I have a set of spare shit there already. Change of underwear, shirt, big enough for sleeping but can tie a knot in and look cutish for brunch, face wipes, small moisturizer, travel toothbrush and toothpaste, hair tie, bobby pins, brush or a comb, mascara, or whatever your one can't live without makeup item is, baseball hat and a phone charging cord or even a portable battery pack thing. I can't sleep well in unfamiliar places so I need to play around on my phone. Edit, condoms aren't a bad idea but I find that most guys have their preferred kind on stash, as if inviting a girl over to stay overnight. I've been in situations where a different 
Condom size was needed so if I had regular ones on me they wouldn't have worked. I tend to leave that up to him and opt out or head to the store if he's not prepared. Underwear, baby wipes, makeup remover, after sex cleanup if too exhausted to shower, general awesomeness, toothbrush, phone charger, unless he's awesome and bought you a cable even if he's an Android and your iOS, lightweight dress. We tend to be rough and find myself unable to wear any trousers after. Dress-wise, I have one that I love to take with me that is very light but has two layers that you can wear separately. If we decide to go out I wear both layers. It's a slip underneath and a longer, sheer top layer. If I want to feel hot but bedtime like I wear only the slip. If the weather gets better and temperature goes up and my partner's flat turns into a sauna the slip is also perfect. If I'm teasing I only wear the sheer layer and no underwear. Sometimes after sex I wear the sheer layer like a nightrobe not to flash the neighbors in the window when I go to the toilet or for a snack. Seriously so many things in one dress that takes less than one tenth of a backpack. So I'm kinda sad that I can't really speak to this from any kind of experience. Even in my grad school days my swinging bachelor pad was more of a essay in futility. But I will say that I have a supply closet for any guests that come to visit my house, also long-term backups for me. In my closet, there's everything from razors and shaving gel to body wash, bar soap, toilet paper, toothbrushes, toothpaste, shampoo, conditioner, etc. Basically, if anyone never comes to visit and the airport loses their toiletries, I've got their basic necessities and a few luxuries covered. I think this kind of thing should just fall under the good host slash s category. Word to the wise, don't play hide the picker with someone who ain't ready for guests. You can do better. Granted, my visitors consist almost exclusively of relatives, so maybe I should just retire my penis and get him a golf cart and residence in one of those Arizona retirement villages. I'm pretty sure my wiener has never played shuffleboard. But he's a competitive little bastard, so I'll bet he learns quick. 1.45 caliber automatic, 2 boxes ammunition, 4 days concentrated emergency rations, 1 drug issue containing antibiotics, morphine, vitamin pills, pep pills, sleeping pills, tranquilizer pills, 1 miniature combination Russian phrase book and Bible, $100 in rubles. $100 in gold, 9 packs of chewing gum, 1 issue of prophylactics, 3 lipsticks, 3 pair of nylon stockings. So I have single women friends and the running joke is that you have a whole bag and what's usually included. If you're driving your own car you have more leeway. They will say to include fresh underwear, deodorant, travel toothbrush and toothpaste. Additionally my friends say that if there's a chance of an overnight hookup but they don't have their car they will usually have just a fresh underwear and disposable toothbrush and freshness wipes. Disposable toothbrush. Edit. One more thing I want to add. Fellas actually get some women friends that you're just cool with and not potential hookups. They will give you great feedback on what women do and think about for being comfortable. Years ago when I was single I used to bring a backpack with stuff when going to a guy's place for the night. In the backpack I'd have, extra pair of undies, tampons, pads, a travel toothbrush, gum, charger, toothpaste, small water bottle, medicine for a sore throat which I use to get often, a pack of Kleenex, extra pair of socks, weed, keys, my medication nail file and some hand lotion. I'd also never leave without my phone and headphones. Feminine hygiene products in a plastic bag. Chances are that he will not have a trash can in the bathroom. If he does, it likely won't have a top. If you want to be discreet, bring a plastic bag. If you don't care whether he knows about your period or not, good for you. Quick way to weed out the immature ones. Charger. Toothbrush. Extra pair of underwear, hair ties, sample size of perfume, deodorant, two or three tampons. Can never be too careful. Condoms, contact case and solution plus glasses, comb or brush, makeup remover, cleanser and moisturizer. Most importantly your switch so you can play Mario Kart and kick his ass. Smile. 
considering my normal list of purse essentials, including spare underwear, sanitary supplies, wallet, flashlight, tape measure, manicure kit, scissors, Ziploc bags, medications, power bank, extra cash, box knife, super glue and baby wipes, and stuff I take when going anywhere for more than 6 hours, emergency clothes, ice chest bag, soda, maybe a laptop, I guess I'd add a bottle of water, a snack, condoms, and duct tape, maybe a spare garbage bag in case of, never know what one would have to bag up after the fact, dot 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 why yes, I did always want to be a boist, how did you know? Sleeping pills in case you to nervous to sleep next to someone. First night with my ex-girlfriend could not sleep because I was too nervous and shy and exited about everything. Had my first kiss that night when we watched the film and when we got to bed we just laid next to each other and I was too shy and nervous to sleep. I have a coin purse sized lil zip bag it contains. Tampons, hair tie, mini lip balm, allergy pills, Tylenol. Two, three individually wrapped feminine wipes, condoms, and no shop panties. Those roll up the smallest. If I know I'm spending the night and my bag is bigger, I have a toothbrush, deodorant, moisturizer, and other clothes. Condoms realize that they come in sizes. For instance, Trojan ends are small, Trojans are medium, Trojan XL or Magnum are bigger. This is about the width, not length. If it is hard to put on, it is too small. If you can put it on and pull it right back off, it is too big. Start small. Save the fella some confidence. Tell him, if it is too small, damn, I got to get the bigger ones out. He will feel good. If you don't need a bigger one, don't mention it. Just like girls don't want men commenting on parts of their body being not great, men don't want it either, especially their penises. Anyway, pack condoms of different sizes. Next time you will know which size to pack. Enough hair products, cream, extra brushes and random razors to put all over our small sink. Leave us a small little space for our toothbrush, this is how you assert dominance. Also be sure to not put the toothpaste lid back on, and leave cupboards open in the kitchen and drastically change the thermostat when you walk in and out, and pretty much any time you walk by it. Nah, if you've just had your genitals dripping everywhere, and unless I shower before I leave, and I usually don't if it's just a one night stand, then they might still have some drippage, and combining that drippage with the now cold stuff that leaked out of me earlier is not a good feeling. Labias are a fickle beast. So back maybe 10 years ago my friend was dating the absolute worst cunt I've ever met. Me and the boys wanted to set our friend free. So we planted a condom wrapper under the sheets knowing she'd find it and also threw a note on in the laundry. She went nuclear as expected and left. We told him a few years later and he laughed and thanked us. <coughs> Extra underwear. At least a t-shirt slash top for the next day. I personally don't change jeans every day. Toothbrush and tooth cream. Phone charger. Cash. Pads. Tampons. Condoms, if you have the small travel sized bottles for a lotion, shampoo, conditioner, shower cream, bring them. Hairbrush, if it's the first time you're seeing the guy, visiting his house, bring toilet paper. Some guys are disappointing and you won't find out until it's too late, aka being stranded on the toilet because he haven't refilled his toilet paper. If you use any medication, Obviously bring those. I like to bring medications that I don't usually need but might have to use at random times, like antihistamines, paracetamol, ibuprofen. I went through a whole phase. I had my overnight essentials list nailed down. Gum or breath strips if you feel weird taking your toothbrush, phone charger, travel size deodorant, travel size makeup wipe pack, any overnight meds you have to take like birth control or whatever, but I usually put them in a paper towel, ball it up, and put it in my purse. Don't bring pill bottles, if you're planning on having sex I'd recommend bringing a spare condom or two, because if they pull that I don't have a condom BS, you can whip out the ones in your purse, and lastly, one of the travel pack of feminine wipes, like the summer's eve wipes, edit, and hair ties. 